The myth that we want to demystify today is that Rambugu apples are self-pollinating. Now, we've been having this challenge. I hope I'm not alone. I've seen so many people, even on Facebook comments, talking about how their fruits are promising through flowering, and then they, are, they experience either flower abortion or fruit abortion, like I'm experiencing at this point. And it's safe to say that this is a common problem that we are facing as Wambugu apple farmers. So I went into research so that I can actually understand if Wambugu apples are truly self-pollinating or not. So what I found out, today we are not talking about opinions, but the findings of my research is that Wambugu apples cannot pollinate themselves. The main reason why Wambugu apple trees are experiencing a lot of fruit abortion is because they can produce some fruits on their own, but the yields are often very low. You can see what I'm experiencing right here. Yeah. And according to my findings, this is because Wambugu apples are partially self-fertile, which means it can set a few fruits with its own pollinators, but to get a proper fruit formation and size, you need pollen from another compatible apple variety. This is what is called cross-pollination, which is when pollen from a different variety of apple comes into contact with another variety. Proper fruit development happens when a bee or another pollinator carries the pollen from a different variety of apple to another tree of a different variety and that's how now proper pollination takes place. But now if the pollen is not compatible or there's no overlap in flowering time between the varieties you have in your orchard, then the flowers form small fruitlets that eventually fall off. That's how I came to understand why this is happening. See, this is, was already a small fruitlet forming, but now it gets yellow and starts falling off. So what are these pollinators? What are these apple varieties that can pollinate Wambugu apples successfully? I conducted research and I found out that the best matches for Wambugu apples are Anna variety, winter banana, Dosette Golden, which is also called the Tropical Beauty, and the Pink Lady, which is also called the Crips Pink. Now, the Anna variety apparently is the top recommended pollinizer or pollinator. It's a low chill and it flowers almost at the same time as Wambugo and gives strong fruit set. So this is your cue if you're experiencing the same problem like what I'm having here to go and get yourself a different variety which is the Anna variety apparently the most recommended pollinator because it's the same variety both are low chill and it's also flowering at the same time as Wambugu which is going to give you a strong fr uh, fruit set. Another excellent choice is the winter banana. I've never seen the winter banana. I don't even know whether we have the variety here in Kenya. And if you have the winter banana variety in your nursery, please leave a comment below and let us know where we can find the winter banana. I've not heard about the winter banana, but apparently it's an excellent choice and it produces lots of viable pollen that has a similar flowering cycle as the Wambugu apples which means they are able to pollinate each other when that flowering is happening. Another good alternative is the Dosette Golden, which is the one I was planting the other day. They are now starting to set, uh, establish themselves in my garden and I'm hoping for the best. I'm really looking forward to see the difference in fruiting and uh, fruit production when we have the, the apples or all, all the varieties flowering at the same time. But now according to my findings, apparently the Anna variety is a better match than the Dosette Golden. Although both are all good alternatives for as pollinators for Wambugu apples, they, but the Dosette Golden is a weaker one as compared to the Anna variety. So 
make your choice if you have limited space you can go for the anna variety but if you have enough space already in your established orchard you can go for both all these other varieties to maximize and eliminate this pollination problem with the wambogo apples now the pink variety which i also have in my garden currently works if flowering overlaps with the wambogo apples and in my case it doesn't really of course there's the overlap but i've not had a good flowering set i tried hand pollinating from the pink lady to the wambugu apples but i realized that the set the flower sets i have for the pink lady are quite few and i had to sacrifice some and i also did not have enough to pollinate all these ones but it's a good variety only that the flowering sometimes does not overlap because apparently the wambugu apples flower more often throughout the year as compared to the pink lady so there are going to be seasons where you do not have pink lady flowers to pollinate with your other type of uh, the wambugu apple flowers so what do you think which variety will you go with if you want your garden to boost your orchard to to beam with lots of flowers and lots of fruits eventually fruits that do not fall <laughs> fruits that hold on to the tree until the harvest time not like this mess that i'm having here and i've decided to just come to you raw because this is something i could have hidden and only glorified the experience of farming apples but i decided that it's good to be as raw as possible if i want help now it's not enough to only have a pollinator we still need bees as our pollinators active pollinators as well so it's good to also encourage bees by either planting herbs like the marigold which i've planted in my garden or even have a beehive in your your orchard to attract bees because the bees are the ones that are going to actually transfer the pollen from one side to the other from one plant to the other it's also good to note that these are the pollinator is not going to solve all your pollination problems you still need to avoid spraying insecticide during flowering and also keep the trees hydrated and to keep on with your manuring and fertilization program especially before the flowering starts and once you keep up with all these other ones hopefully then the flowers are all going to turn into fruits and our new problem is going to be <laughs> thinning the fruits i can't wait to be in a position where i need to thin the fruits so pollination apple pollination is proving to be quite a challenge for me here these little ones here are the anthers and we need to move the pollinator the, the pollen from these anthers to the stigma of the other ones this is a pink lady flower and it's the one i was telling you i used to pollinate the other ones so you go for the fresh ones that are not brownish in color this yellowish color indicates that they have better pollen not the ones that have already dried up so i will go in with my makeup brush and gently rub on the anthers to collect the pollen which i then transfer to the other ones and try as much as possible to pollinate now imagine i've been trying this we do not have enough flowers from uh, the pink lady as of now so i've been trying this and yet i still have problems with my pollination so you definitely need bees but the, the pink lady is doing quite well these are the fruits so far although there are quite few again for the size of the tree but i i've come also to appreciate the fact that in the first one to three years you might not have enough productivity to smile all the way to the banquet let me know down below in the comments your kind of experience as for me i've come to the conclusion that shambugu apples do need a pollinator for the best fruiting results don't let anyone tell you otherwise at least just try it if not for the variety of taste then for the 
guaranteed productivity. If this video helped you to understand your trees better, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share it with another apple farmer. Together we are going to farm apples the right way.